I trusted them, and from that day, our family has changed in the most beautiful way. Yeah, this lady looks like she works in HR or something like that. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest all the way from Australia, my friend Rattlesnake Jake. By the way, love your name, Thank obviously. You. Love that Thank you're Italian and love that you're Australian. Although I had a big bone to pick with your country a few years ago. We talked about that over on his channel on his podcast, mm -hmm. podcast that just launched. And we're at the local studio in Miami and I wanted to have you react to TikToks because even though Australia is all the way in the East or the West, depending on what side of the world you're on, y'all are just as woke, if not worse. I'd say we're worse. You think we're wor yeah, worse than the United I'd say States? We're worse. I don't know. I mean, they did sign a petition that had 2,500 signatures to not even allow me into your country. I mean- Because I, I was a transphobe. Right, so I have like five or six TikToks we're gonna react to. Let's go. And you, you said you never react to anything, right? I'm terrible at reacting to things, but let's get- <laughs> This is probably the worst one of them all, and I'm gonna show you this one let's first. Go. This woman is transitioning all four of her children. Mm. Guess what race she is? <laughs> Guess. She's white. Okay. No, she's not black. She must be black white, people yeah. aren't, aren't woke with trans shit. Oh, really? It's no. all the white libs doing, oh, white, is it? Oh, white libs, yeah. So she has four kids. In 2022, our twin daughters came out and told us they were transgender. Now their other, now our other son told us that he was trans, and that they didn't feel like a boy or a girl. So this person, of is course, the hair goes that, blue. That they're non-binary, right? Of course, their hair is blue, and of course, they're both wearing masks. You see how they're both wearing masks? Masks. <laughs> masks. masks. <laughs> is this what was once this a little boy? This is the third kid. Damn. He doesn't have. Yeah, this is the third kid. Both wearing masks. This is some like. Look, there's got the non-binary flag over here. Protect trans kids. You, you'd have to think, because people love their kids, you'd have right. to think that what you're doing is somehow helping I, your kids exactly. and helping them be who they are and accepted in the world. But exactly. it's quite lit. Like, if you're doing all four of them, that's pretty obvious that there's some sort of an ideological component to 100%. this. A hundred percent. Look at this. These are the two, I think these are twins, and they're both selling their birthday to celebrating their birthday together. People said we were crazy to listen to them. They are just kids. They don't know who they are. They do. They really don't, though, because... They don't. I, yeah. I wanted to marry the fridge when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. My mom said that I wanted to marry the fridge because I was just such a little fatty. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's been two years today. My children are happy and thriving. They are happy and free to be their true selves. Yeah, you wait till they get into high school. For real. Like, these kids are going to be... Listen, first of all, I said before on your podcast, I said it's very likely, and this has been statistically proven, right? This is, There's a study on this, that if one kid is gay, whatever child comes next is more likely to be gay mm. than previously. That's not the case with trans people because it's a very different thing than, than homosexuality. There might be in the entire world, maybe one family that has two trans people in it. One. Yeah. And may, four kids? Four? I no. think the, uh, so it probably sorry. it no. probably comes from some sort of an ideology where they believe people are just sort of fluid. Oh, hundred uh, percent. And that That's this exactly actually exists believe. everywhere. And the only reason why everybody isn't sort of some sort of strange esoteric gender is because they box themselves is, in. Is because or blah, of blah, 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 because yeah. of society. Like I guarantee you, this person's probably like an art teacher. Yeah. Probably. I would have thought some sort of HR corporate. I wanted the dad. HR corporate, yeah. Yeah, I think the dad must be pretty cocked, to be honest. The dad, yeah, the dad's never mentioned in it. Oh, really? No. Is there a dad? We don't know. Here's the update on the interview I just had. Would you hire this person? Just to see the crazy eyes. No, straight away. The guy is at a desk, and he looks me up and down, and I go, hi, I'm, you know, full name. Uh, I'm here for the interview. And he goes, your full name? And I go, yep, that's me. He seemed a little disappointed for some reason, but I was trying to keep Wonder it why. cheerful and, you know, see if I still right. have my chance, I guess. Um, but no, it turns out all of a sudden he actually hired someone and had this whole elaborate backstory for this person that he supposedly <laughs> just hired and is giving a try. At least he had his story <laughs> straight. <laughs> I know, right? Work out. Guess it's getting a call. That's right. Me. I'm the second choice. That's totally going to happen when this very real person doesn't work out. I wonder why. And there's like multiple videos like this where these people are, they're either filming themselves being fired yeah. or filming themselves being laid off or I'm going like this filming, <laughs> millennial. <laughs> or they're making videos about their boss or management on TikTok, calling them bigoted. I've seen that as well. Like all the Wait, time. Like that's who one would way hire to, you? Literally, I think the piercings in themselves would probably be a bit of a red flag. It could though. be. Yeah. Yeah, because, I'm, I'm because just talking it about turns it. into this. Did you see this one about the, the trans activist that's still obsessed with masks? 
No. Choices. When you choose to go out in public and go indoors without a KN95 or an N95 mask, you are making the choice for other people's bodies. As an immunocompromised person with asthma who's disabled asthma. and Asthma. <laughs> Give me I a break. I am a more high risk to get sick, but then when I do get sick, I have less of a chance of even getting treated. And that was no. so that's also People are not using asthma these days for a victim but guard. Also, yeah, but that's also not true. <laughs> How are you, uh, like, that's against the law. What? To go into a doctor's office and not be treated because you're gay or trans. That's against the law. That's not true. So that's, that's a lie. Yeah, discrimination. That's discrimination. Yeah, that's a lie. Maybe because you're that. crazy, they won't have treat you with. New doctor's office to try to be established as a patient. They said that maybe if I want my doctor to wear a mask around me, then maybe I, I shouldn't actually be a patient with them. There was an immunocompromised person who was put on a psych hold in the emergency room and refused pain meds for a migraine because they were asking their doctors and the nurse practitioners to wear masks in the uh, room because they're immunocompromised. You should See? be refused if you're asking them to wear a mask. Sorry. Bad luck. I agree. Bad luck. Here, here's the thing. There's a big difference. And this is where it comes to... This is not like an like an actual transsexual person. This is a trans queer whatever woke person, right? Yeah. That the spiritual whatever you want to call it, whatever. That that's the difference, right? These people are not actually experiencing gender dysphoria. Probably they have other mental illnesses. They are using their disability to control other people. They're using their transness to control other people, to mm. control language, to control thoughts. That's a big f problem. That yeah. is a big problem. Yeah. And that's why people like me and Buck. And even you, even though you're not LGBT, speak out about against this stuff because you are using your oppression. Yeah. So when you use it as to, a to gain yeah. status. So when they use it as a bludgeon, and it, like you said, we were talking about it before. Some of these people can make the rest of them look really bad, right. and people get get tarred with the same brush. Unfortunately. There's your problem. See, I'm not a man. I may look like a man. I may sound like a man, but I don't function like a man. I am. I saw. I can't. I can't with the. <laughs> Were you thinking the same thing? Too loud. Were you thinking the same thing? Yeah, I don't like when people chew you loudly. See me <laughs> in a woman's room, I will like be chewing a hubba bubba femme, gum. I can't. And doing my best to look like I belong because I know I did it again. that I people are afraid. But I am not a man. As much as you want to say that I am, as much as you want to think that I am, I am not a man. I never was. Okay, so the gaslighting here is insane. Yeah. Because first of all, you are male. Yeah. Like you 100% are male. If, if that person walks into a bathroom and I've got, someone's got their little daughter there or someone's got yeah. you know, like a young what, lady who they care for, you kind of feel urged to walk into the bathroom and with and watch them. And watch them. Like, you what know? are you doing? What are you doing? If, you're, if yeah. you're a dad, what do you do in that situation? If your little daughter walks in and then he walks in behind, There are videos like that online now. What does the dad do? Does he go into the woman's yes, bathroom? Th yes, he went in after that person and he's like, get out. Yeah. So there are some straight women or there, and there's some lesbians that bring their straight guy friends yeah, that's, that's, to the lesbian bar. That's a good thing. Yeah. That, there's, like, there's, there's a lot of straight girls there who feel unintimidated and a little bit more yes. loose. Yeah, yeah, and then the straight guys can take them and I don't want to deal with them because they're mm -hmm. straight girls. And Fine. there's less guys in, you have less competition, you look better, you look more masculine than the gay guys, you know? <laughs> there are a lot of straight girls that go to lesbian bars. Yeah, yeah. There are. We know that. Lesbians out there, not. Make our safety spaces unsafe by bringing cis straight men into them. And the only thing I disagree with is that line. We absolutely can hold them accountable for those men's behavior. If Crazy eyes. This is a lesbian? Yeah. <laughs> what? Threw that in there. claim it, but they're not willing to do the work, unpack, and process what that means for everyone else in that safe space, when what they're saying is they want to have fun. That's 99%. They don't want a safe space. They just want a place they can go and have fun, and they also want to be able to bring Jeremy, you know? But like a dog that's biting people at a dog park, you have to hold the owner at fault too. So that is a dude. Mm -hmm. who claims to be a lesbian. Yes. So that's a dude who likes chicks. Yes. And he's saying that I'm not allowed to come to the lesbian bar right. because I'm a dude who likes chicks. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, here's the thing. Again, the gaslighting. They're saying that they are much different than you. They're not that much different than you. Like, not at this stage in the transition. I'm sorry. Like, you still very much look and pass as male. It is what it is. That's not... 
I'm not trying to be mean. You're a girl thicker beard than me. Yeah. Look at his stubble. I, I literally still got the five o'clock shadow. Probably is very early. If they are trans, probably very early in their transition. But the crazy thing is, I've gone to ton of straight bars. I've never once, and maybe it's just my experience. I've never once felt uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable when I go to queer spaces now because it's people like this that will call people like you sexist or a bigot or whatever, and call people like me transphobic because I don't want to sleep with this person. I go to a straight bar. I tell a guy I'm gay. At this point, maybe not ten years ago, but at this point, they're like, oh. Okay, no bit problem. disappointed, but yeah, but like, yeah. okay, no problem. <laughs> back then, 10 years ago, they'd be like, Oh, so you're bi? No, I just said I was gay. Like, I don't know why they would do that, but that that's not a thing they do anymore. Well, to be now fair, though, yeah, you, you do come across as quite feminine. When I met you, like, at uh, Marilago, I would have thought that maybe there was some sort of bi there as well, but I don't know. I think really? you, I think you, you come across as pretty yeah, womanly and that's you're quite small and petite and that's true, that's huggable. True too. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being in the video. If you guys want to check out the longer version of this YouTube video, you can go to our locals page and check it out. We'll have it in the description below of this video, and you can watch the podcast that we filmed over on his channel, which was also filmed here in the space. We yeah. talked about a lot. Yeah, we did. We got through like, a lot. A lot. Yeah. And I feel like not even half of it is going up here so go to the other places if you want to see the rest of it and subscribe to both of our channels and i will see you guys i post on sundays when do you post uh wednesdays wednesdays okay so i'll see you sunday and he'll see you wednesday beautiful much love guys peace